Skims is actually coming out with like a swimsuit line. This season's so freaking juicy and this man's has just messed up so many times. here my name is hannah if you're not new welcome back i am starting off i don't know if it's gonna be a few days in my life or a week in my life or what i haven't really decided yet so just come along with me for like we'll say a few days in my life vlog i am like literally so exhausted this morning i didn't go to sleep until like 1 a.m last night and then woke up like four times last night i'm like struggling a little bit today i literally didn't get out of bed until like nine o'clock right when my right when i was supposed to start work i was gonna film like a whole morning routine because i've been pretty good about my morning routine lately as far as having like my little set routine i don't have super massive detailed morning routines but i do have things that i do every single morning so i was gonna film like a little spring morning routine vlog but the universe just had other plans for me today because i am just so tired and it was not gonna happen so we'll out of bed at nine it's almost 11 now so i've just been mosing today i really haven't been doing much other than working obviously and hanging out i'm just exhausted today is not gonna be in a super super eventful day but i just wanted to enter the vlog and say good morning happy monday and welcome to it i finally changed out of my pajamas at literally 2 30 p.m and that is just how today is going you know what i mean and i didn't even change out of the pajama bottoms just changed into a skims tank top which this is like by far my favorite tank top and my parents asked me what i wanted for my birthday and i gave them like a lot of skims ideas i like made a list and put a lot of skims items on them because i think i really want to start investing in more skims wear it's actually super exciting because earlier today i got an email that skims is actually coming out with like a swimsuit line this friday so like the 18th this will definitely be out before the 18th so mark your calendars if you're a big skims fan or if you ever wanted to try skims i feel like the swimsuit line is definitely going to be like chef's kiss because all of their stuff just like fits everyone i feel like like a glove and so i feel like their bikini line is going to do just the same i put notifications on for two of the swimsuits so that i can purchase it the second that it comes out i think it comes out like at noon on friday so i'm really excited for that i want to grab a few of those for staple pieces for the summer they're not like crazy they're definitely just like basic triangle tops and regular like high-rise bottoms but i feel like it's always good to have like staple bathing suits in your closet i don't always need like super crazy fun quirky bathing suits i feel like that's kind of where i go wrong with bikinis is that i always buy what's trending and then the next year comes and i like don't like any of the bikinis that i bought the previous year so i feel like buying a few like black brown neutral staples to put in my bikini wardrobe will be the key to success for me i'm very excited for that to come out i did all of my laundry yesterday literally a lot of my laundry had been stockpiling since puerto rico like that's how long it's been since i've been able to do all my laundry and i'm telling you guys the next apartment that i move into having a washer and dryer in unit or at least in the building is a non-negotiable for me like i need a washer dryer i just go through so many clothes i don't even know what it is and i also just love to wash my sheets whenever I want to wash my sheets but having to walk down to a laundromat every single time and like lug my stuff and then sit there with it it's just such a pain in the butt and you kind of have to like schedule your whole day around it next apartment guys in unit washer dryer non-negotiable for me seriously that and natural light I like this apartment because I get a lot of natural light in my bedroom but out there in like my living area it's dark literally 80% of the day I have like two hours of sunlight during that time that actually makes its way into my kitchen So natural sunlight and then you know washer dryer. That's all I need in life. Really that and no cockroaches That's another non-negotiable if I see a cockroach. I'm out Can't do it. This will forever be my comfort show. Maybe dating myself by saying that but I love the show so much this will be my second coffee of the day and I'm not even ashamed my eyes feel so heavy today and not sleeping last night was definitely the cause of that but i feel like i've tried everything i had a normal cup of coffee this morning 
I put on eye patches. My last resort is just more caffeine at this point because what else are you supposed to do when you're tired? Oat milk. You have to shake this oat milk really, really well or it comes out like this really weird off yellow, like clear color that doesn't look like oat milk, which is low key really disgusting. But I have like this much left, so I just have to deal with it and then I'm never buying this brand again. Oatly, I don't know what you guys are doing, but the color of your oat milk is sus. Let's do a little taste test. I bought some new syrups from Tarani. I bought the sugar-free syrups, I think. Yeah, so they taste a little bit different than the regular syrup, so. But I haven't tried the vanilla one yet. It's not bad. I feel like you can definitely tell the difference between the sugar-free one and the normal one, just because it's definitely, like, less sweet, slash less of a flavor. But I'm trying to wean myself off of, like, super, super sweet coffee, so this isn't bad, actually. Also, I just realized that... The Bachelor finale is tonight, and I couldn't be more excited for it. Honestly, I feel like at the beginning of the season, I really didn't pay. Why is this out of focus? At the beginning of the season, at Colton season. Is it Colton? I literally forgot the Bachelor's name. Not Colton. What's his name? He looks exactly like Colton, though. Whatever. At the beginning of this Bachelor season, I honestly wasn't paying too much attention to it because my friends and I stopped doing, like, Bachelor nights because we were getting tired of them, and so it didn't really give me a reason to watch it, but... Towards the middle of the season, I started watching it again just to give me something to do on a Monday night, you know what I mean? So, I started watching again, and this this season is crazy. Like, girls are crazy, but he, The Bachelor this season, is especially crazy. He is out here, like, sleeping with multiple women, telling multiple women that he loves them, and then expecting, like, no repercussions. Like, sir, what did you expect to happen when you told three women that you loved them and three, two out of three women that you slept with them? What did we think was going to happen there? Did you just think that everyone was going to be like, oh, that's chill? No. No person in their right mind is going to be like, okay with that. That's where we left off at the last episode, and I think this episode is the season finale, because last week they also did the, not after the final rose, what's the one? Women Tell All. So I think this is the finale, and I'm so excited because I heard it's like an insane finale, which they say that every season, but I really think that he may walk away with like, no women at all and just be done so we're gonna see what happens but i just remembered that that was on tonight so it gives me something to look forward to at eight o'clock and i'm really excited for it i need to do this quick because i need to run to the post office before it closes and then i'm gonna run to the gym i'm in like a little set active set now it's like this little chocolate brown color i uh, it's not my favorite set active set so i'm not gonna link it but i still own it so i still wear it obviously i'm gonna do a little amazon haul for you guys um spoiler alert it's all books because I ran out of books to read, shockingly enough. I have like one book left in my collection that I hadn't read yet. So it was time for like a little Amazon haul slash book purchase. So I'm going to share them all with you guys. These have been on my list for honestly so long. So I'm kind of glad that I'm actually finally like making a dent in my list because it just, every time I turn around, I'm adding a new book to the list and it's forever growing. First book which I'm just obsessed with the cover of this book, which is why it drew me in. Also, I'm obsessed with Italy. And this is called One Italian Summer by Rebecca Serrell. She's also the author of In Five Years, which is based in New York, which is another book that I want to read. But this book really caught my attention. It's a short read. I think it's only like 250 pages. So I honestly should be able to finish this in like one day. But I think this cover is so pretty and want to keep this forever, even if the book sucks. I want to keep the cover of this book forever. Next book that I got is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is what the cover looks like. I was drawn to this one because it was giving me like Disneyland vibes, Disney World vibes. And I used to love, there was like a series when I was in high school, I think, or maybe even middle school that was like a spinoff of Disney fairy tales like Snow White, Cinderella, stuff like that. It was the story of Disney princesses but told in a modern day which I was obsessed with those and this is definitely a very different genre from what those books were but it was giving me like the fairy tale Disney World vibe which I really like so I'm excited to read this one also the cover is really pretty and I know that this is also a series so if I like this I will have a series to continue to read next is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover you guys know that I can never resist a good Colleen Hoover book this has been on my list for a while and it has such good reviews Every Colleen Hoover book honestly has such good reviews. I know not everyone's a huge fan of them, 
but I am personally a big fan of hers and literally have a goal to read like every single book that she's ever written. So I decided to pick up a Colleen Hoover book. Next is Twisted Games by Anna Huang. If you guys saw my last vlog, you know that I read Twisted Love by Anna Huang, which was the first book in this four book series. The fourth book comes out in June, so I want to try to read the one through three before June so I can read the fourth book. Such a good smutty romance type book. Definitely rated R, I would say. It's not, um, it's not PG-13, it's not PG, it's definitely rated R, but I love like the storyline for these books and I feel like there's so many different plot twists and just the romance in all these books is so good too. So I definitely love this series and would highly recommend. The last book is The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. Michaelides? I can never pronounce his last name, but this is actually the author of The Silent Patient, which is a book that is really trending on TikTok and is honestly like one of the best books that I've ever read. It's such a good psychological thriller. If you guys want an immediate five star read that you will finish in one sitting, pick up The Silent Patient. I recently recommended it to my friend Kim and she texted me and was like, that is like one of the best books I've ever read. I'm like, I know, it's so good. Cause you don't see the plot twist coming, which is the best part of it. He has a second book that's out, not in relation to The Silent Patient, but the Silent Patient was like the first book that he ever wrote and this is the second book. So I'm excited to read it. I heard that it's not as good as The Silent Patient so I'm already like slightly disappointed. I need to stop reading reviews before I read books because I think that sometimes I walk into it like already expecting it to be either like really great or not that great. So I feel like I need to just like look at books for their like the description of books and the cover of books and then read it and then look at the reviews rather than looking at the reviews first because I feel like I need to like form my own opinion. I'm excited for this. I was supposed to have a sixth book. It was Legend by Legend by Marie Lu, which is a I think it's like sci-fi fantasy is technically the series. But the weirdest thing happened to me. I got all these books delivered at once in like three different packages, but the one package that contained the legend book was completely open when it got to my doorstep. And I know it wasn't like my neighbor or anyone that stole it because the Amazon like delivery person literally knocked on my door and I opened it two seconds later. So my neighbor wouldn't have had time to steal it. So that means that the Amazon delivery truck person either took the book or delivered me an empty package without the book. Either way, I'm getting a refund on it, but I'm kind of sad because this is one of the books that I was definitely like really looking forward to. So I need to purchase this in my next haul and I'm kind of sad about it, but I have five books to keep me occupied in the meantime. And I know it's gonna take me a while to get through these, at least the month of March. So we are set for a while, but I'm gonna have all of these linked down below if you guys want to check any of them out. I've never read any of them other than the Twisted series and like Colleen Hoover is always a good go-to author, but I've never read any of these other books or these other authors, so I can't like really give a recommendation until I read them. But if you want to read along with me, I will have them linked in the description below. These lights just are constantly driving me nuts, but I just got back from the gym. Now I'm getting ready to make some dinner. I think I'm gonna make a fajita bowl. But like a healthy fajita bowl. Let me pull up the recipe really quickly and tell you guys what it is. It's called Whole30 Chicken Fajita Bowls. I will have to say that I don't follow like any sort of specific diet, so I don't normally eat Whole30, but this bowl just like looks super yummy and super healthy. It's chicken, peppers, guac, garlic powder, olive oil, white onion, chicken, I don't know if I said that, and what makes it healthy is that instead of using regular rice, we use cauliflower rice. Now, I haven't had the best experience with cauliflower rice in the past, I will have to say. Also, I literally look like a little gremlin. Like, I look so gross right now, and I feel sweaty. I feel good, so that's a plus, but I'm, I haven't had the best experience with cauliflower rice in the past because I feel like it's kind of hard to season and if you don't season it properly it just ends up tasting really really plain but I feel like the fact that all of these ingredients are super flavorful and will add a lot of flavor to the bowl it'll be okay so I'm gonna try to make this I wish I had prepped a little bit beforehand because I feel like this is gonna take a minute to make but that's okay, I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything and then, then we'll give a review after. If it's good, I'll link the recipe down below, but if it's not good, I'm gonna save you guys and not link it down below because why would you wanna eat something that's gross?
Just got out of the shower. We're fresh as a daisy on, is that the saying? Fresh as a daisy, I think it is. <laughs> on this Tuesday. That was so random of me, I don't know. Anyways, I have several things that I need to talk about this morning with you guys. One, I didn't film my fajita bowl last night and I apologize for that. I, my sincerest apologies, but it was really good. So I'm gonna link the recipe in the description of this video. If you guys need a really easy, really simple recipe to cook at home for either lunch or dinner, that'd be such a good like lunch meal too, I feel like, because it wasn't super heavy. I think that replacing normal rice with the cauliflower rice really is what made the whole bowl in my opinion. That and the guac. Make sure that you eat it with guac because I feel like that added a lot of flavor to it. So I'm gonna have that link down below. Super easy recipe. The only complicated part about it was the fact that you do need several spices in order to season the chicken. That or you could probably just buy like fajita packs. I chose, I have all the spices for it so it wasn't that big of a deal to me but if you don't have all the spices you do need like at least five so keep that in mind but it's gonna be linked down below. Second is The Bachelor. Guys, first of all I didn't realize that this was a two part finale so last night on Monday was the first part of the finale. Tonight is the second part of the finale which I have to miss because I'm headed to a concert tonight. I bought my boyfriend Tame Impala tickets for his birthday in February and the concerts tonight so I'm missing the freaking season finale of The Bachelor and I'm really upset about it so I'm gonna have to watch some Hulu tomorrow which makes me sad because I'm probably gonna see a spoiler before then. This always happens to me is that I never actually end up getting to watch the finale of The Bachelor live and then before I can even watch the finale social media like spoils it for me so there's no point in me even watching it but this season's so freaking juicy and this man's has just messed up so many times that I feel like the actual finale may be worth it to watch even if I know who he ends up with because of social media. So stay tuned for that. But guys, he has just dug himself such a deep hole. And honestly, props to these women for putting up with him. I feel like it's such a complicated situation when you're in a situation like that from like the women's perspective on whether to stay with him and give him a second chance or whether to leave because obviously according to them they are in love with him and when you're in love with someone you can't just give up on them that easily. I think that it's a lot easier said than done so I give them so much props for like sticking to it and I don't even know what's gonna happen tonight because he was talking about how Okay, this is a spoiler alert. This is a spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen the season finale, maybe just like skip past this, past this part. But also by the time this video comes out, the season finale will come out, so catch up. He's talking about how even though Susie went home, he's still in love with her. And how she's actually still in Iceland. So I think that what's gonna happen, this is my prediction, and I'm ending this video today so I won't be able to like let you guys know if my prediction was true or not. But my prediction is that he is going to go to Susie, confess his love for her, and try to win her back. And if she says no, I don't think he's going to end up with anyone at all because I don't think he loves the other two girls like he loves Susie. And I think that he's just going to try to fight for her. Literally, this is a Colton 2.0. Like, literally a Colton situation 2.0 when he had to fight for Cassie. This is what this whole thing reminds me of. We shall see, but that's my take on The Bachelor is that it was absolutely insane last night and I wish I was watching with like friends or something because I had so much commentary and I was watching with my boyfriend and he just like didn't understand the commentary, you know what I mean? So like he was like, oh yeah, crazy, so crazy, but I feel like my friends would have had good commentary, so I kind of wish I had watched it with them, but it is what it is. I digress. Third thing is that I just signed up for my second to last term for school. I signed up for two of my final four classes and I just, I don't know why it's just now clicking in my head that I'm almost finished with school. I graduated in December, but it's all just kind of hitting me at once and I'm like, what the heck happened? Like, where did these last two years go? Because I started school at the beginning of the pandemic because you know, we were work from home and it was the perfect time to do it. I am just confused as to how I just signed up for my last summer classes and my second to last term. Summer is my second to last term and then fall will be my very last term. So I'm on my like last four classes of the year. It's just crazy to me. I just can't wrap my head around it quite yet, but I'm like, I signed up for those this morning and was just kind of in shock. I just don't know where the time went. I feel like the last two years have flown by and I've lost literally all concept of time. 
all time is like completely wiped from my head. Those are all my updates for this morning. I just had a lot on my mind that I need to spit out to the camera because you guys are like my BFFs, who I ran to, who I talked to, you know what I mean? You guys need all the updates. So that's all that's going on in my head this morning. Like I said, I'm going to a concert later, Tame Impala. And I think doors open at seven. So I'm going to try to get ready around five and then head over to Brooklyn. And I think then we're going to go from Brooklyn to like a bar or something to get a drink beforehand and then go to the concert and that'll be that. It should be an interesting concert. I really know nothing about Tame Impala other than the very few TikTok trending songs that they have. I only know the songs that were trending on TikTok, but my boyfriend knows like all of them. So that's why we're going is because he's a fan and I just don't really, I know nothing about them, but I'm, I'm there to support. We're gonna be a supportive girlfriend, you know what I mean? I'm headed to that later tonight and that is about it. I also need to pick up my apartment because I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes out, but no space in my closet. I need to get a second shelf to put more shoes on. That's, you know, that's a story for another day. Good morning, happy Tuesday, you guys. All right, a little update. I'm getting ready to go for a walk. I'm just wearing Lululemon leggings, sweatshirt, and not even Lululemon leggings. What are these, biker shorts? And then my Adidas shoes that are so old, I need a new pair, honestly. It's like 62 degrees outside right now, so whether or not I'm gonna be cold in these shorts, we'll see, but because it's so nice out, I wanna get out and take a walk around the park or go get a coffee. I'm honestly craving this one cold brew that I get from, what is it called, 767 Coffee? It's like a Puerto Rican coffee shop um, near Tompkins Square Park, so I think I'm gonna go get like a mint-infused cold brew and just take a little walk for my lunch break. It is... 144 now and I don't have another meeting until 3 o'clock so I'm gonna take this time use it to my advantage and enjoy the sun while it's out get some vitamin D I just got back from my little walk and holy crap it is so freaking nice outside i'm pretty sure it's like 62 degrees right now but i was perfectly fine in like my biker shorts and a sweatshirt got a little mint infused cold brew if you guys come to new york you need to go to 787 coffee they have numerous locations around the city but my favorite one is the one near Tompkins square park in the east village because they have cute little neon signs they have little swings that you can sit on in the window they have like outdoor tables, indoor tables. A lot of people go there to like work and co-work. And overall their coffee is just amazing. And you guys know I have an obsession with Puerto Rico, so it's right up my alley. Yeah, I got that. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be drinking a coffee at 2 p.m., let alone a cold brew at 2 p.m. But I'm using the fact that I'm also trying to like navigate this light right now. I'm using the fact that I am going to a concert late tonight as an excuse because I kind of need the extra boost of energy. Yeah, also went for a little walk around the park all of the dogs are out in the dog park and it is like the most wholesome thing i've ever seen all the dogs and their owners people are out playing basketball guys the city is healing it's crazy what a little bit of sun and warm weather like does to the city it just livens it back up because i feel like in the winter the city gets like so dead so fast because no one wants to go outside when it's freezing and gross and wet a little bit of warmth and sunshine really does go a long way here so it was really nice to get outside and like see everyone outside going for runs playing with their dogs sitting in the park very wholesome and definitely a good food booster but now i need to get back to work outfit of the night for the concert i'm wearing the only jeans that i ever wear from abercrombie my converse this top is from zara i literally wore this like out at night the other day so if you watch that vlog i am an outfit repeater but it's okay we're gonna throw on a little leather blazer over it because it's warm outside right now but i feel like it's getting colder later around the concert time and then i'm gonna wear my black kate spade bag with the gold chain the one that i always wear too so that's a little outfit of the night i also curled my hair and did my makeup. Did more makeup than usual and I'm also wearing my bigger hoops that are from Miranda Fry, so. I am ready to see Tame Impala. I don't really know what to expect. Also, I put my contacts in for the first time in like a year and my eyes are so dry because I never wear them because I hate wearing contacts, but I didn't want to wear my glasses with a full face of makeup and I also just didn't want to bring them to the concert for risk of them breaking. 
so we're trying the contacts but my eyes are really not having it they're like very dry from them so I don't think they're gonna last very long but we're gonna try it there are Aeon well staff present at this show be advised that Russian's effects range from a